Hey, pre-notification gang. What's on the table for tonight? Going over some shit and then playing something I haven't fully decided on. I was going to do more speedruns, but and I'm a little tired for speedrun. Rather play something more laid back. But yeah. Definitely going to get some crazy shit going on, I'm sure. Oh. Bad games? Maybe bad games. It's not a terrible idea. Oh. He's a prime eagle. Have I looked at the ratchet and clank up your arsenal speed runs? Seven minutes and yeah. It's hard though. That's a like a really tough one. Is it tier one, Ryan? The prime Spidey. Do you believe YouTube is causing a horrible experience on the website? Oh fuck yeah! What absolutely, bro? These changes they keep making are dog shit and nonsensical. Thanks to tier one Rosemary and the resub Lancer and Buggies. Hey, happy birthday, Speed. Thanks to Prime Random. Resub Nova and tier one Shady. Next to tier one mini, the bits Leon. And we give some Miles and Game Boy. How's the speedrun challenge going? Really good now. It's starting to get a lot of steam in terms of like discoveries and everything going on. We'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. But yeah, now we're finally entering in the uh, very wacky part of the AMOC runner challenge. Yep, they found some new tech that is actually going to be run viable, it seems. Is the resub Jackson and the bits Amy, Dowlin, Deep, and the resub KJ, Vic, Trolls and give sub Cascita. And there's sub Freaky. Thanks a bit, Reginald. Loved your elbow in the Hunger Games. You fucking swine, it was my whole hand. What do you mean, my elbow? I got the whole hand in the Hunger Games. Don't you ever downplay my importance in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1? Thanks for five gifts subs, Kate. Appreciate it. And the resub Rise. And Prime Psychonaut. The bits Reginald, Neo, and Deep. And the bits Tom. Andy Cohen said James Corden copied him or something. Don't know about all that, but I saw Mel B called him the biggest dickhead she's ever worked with or something. 
I only briefly glanced at it, but yeah. Seems like everyone in the industry also dislikes James Corden. So the question begs to be asked, how does he keep getting so many goddamn roles? There's a tier one tipped in the resub party pat in Kinway. The bits Alex Plunger Deep. I didn't even know there was a new UI. Did you have to cover your tats for the Hunger Games? I didn't have them back then. You seen all the crazy tech being developed on the AMOC Discord? Yep, that's I'm gonna talk about that for in just a minute. Is he resub JD? Drew Balin just got his first sub thirty. Let's go. Yeah, sub thirty is becoming like the uh, the benchmark here. We're getting tons and tons of sub thirties now for people from people that are like really getting after it. Distortion two is starting to run it. I was watching a lot of his stream today. That shit had me giggling. <laughs> watching distortion 2 do runs and like learn all the tech has been fucking amazing things the resub acog and give sub phallic and the resub jd and bit stargazer and the prime weebly and resub kev When do you think Summoning Salt will make an AMOC runner speedrun documentary? Oh, we're doing it. We're going to be doing a Summoning Salt style documentary on it once the competition's over. So we'll obviously go over the winner and stuff before that, but then it'll probably take some time to compile all relevant information and everything, but we're doing a Summoning Salt style recap on everything. It's going to be so fucking cool. I'm so hype. I'm, I'm really glad with how this has been going. It's been so fun. He's a tier one plunger and tier one bear. And the resub Kawaii, Guns, Ethan, Cat, and the bits Tom and Space. Do you think Philip DeFranco's entire channel is demonetized now? Oh, because he says, what's up, you beautiful bastards? Good question. If it's not, it probably will be. Andrew Tate could probably buy your family and step on you. You as well, big guy, but at least I'm not paying him $50 for it. What do you mean? Thanks to the resub. Lav, Awesome, Shadow, Zeppi, Booch, Elise, and the Prime, Hawaiian, and five gift subs, Vebear. Thank you for that. The resub, Lecro. Appreciate the generosity. Can't you just edit out the words? I'm sure you can. But it, that's something they should have made known on the like on the way before the change just hit. Thanks to two gift subs, Jay. Has Logan Paul re responded to Coffeeville yet? Coffeezilla, not yet. January 3rd, it seems. You see James Corden talk about as I talk about his audition for Lord of the Rings yeah this would have been the absolute worst goddamn timeline for entertainment I hope he's just making this shit up apparently I auditioned to be Sam in the Lord of the Rings trilogy that would have legitimately buried Tolkien again it would have resurrected him and then killed him once again with how awful that would have been don't know if he's being honest here, but Jesus Christ. What a disaster. What an absolute disaster that would have been. I 
is resub hectic and give sub twin and resub slime and tier one BMT and prime Brock. Dude would have made for an awesome random dead orc. I dislike James Corden probably more than anyone, but I actually could see him doing a really great job as just being uncredited, unnamed corpse on the ground somewhere in like Fellowship of the Ring. Like I wouldn't have been mad. But even just hearing that he auditioned for Sam makes me upset. He's a bit steep water. Do I think YouTube will ever bring bring back dislikes and listen to the community? Nope. Thanks to tier one grapes. Give sub Philly. Have you seen French mustard Nike shoes? What the fuck is that? Thanks a bit Zapelli deep in tier one. Deidre took my bong. Did they remove dislikes because of the rewind? That's the theory. But they came up with the excuse of like hate raids or something and like weaponizing dislikes it was dog shit thanks you said J.O. and Dev They forgot people can disable ratings already. Yeah, I, again, it was all stupid. It's not coming back, though. They're never going to backpedal. Unfortunately. Things you give Sub Hogan. It is what it is. This is a bit too deep. Who is YouTube doing the policy changes for? The Illuminati, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking deep state. I couldn't tell you. It makes no sense. Like, they're not struggling for advertisers. There's absolutely no point. There's no reason to make general YouTube YouTube kids. Like, it actually doesn't make sense. They're not in a situation where they need to. Is the resub auntie in the prime Carly? There has to be some reason. I'm sure there is, but I don't know what the fuck it is. I could I actually can't imagine one. Thanks you resub crones. You think YouTube has any long term goal? Mm-mm. Thanks, Reese and Poise. Well, I take that back. They want to be like TV. They've made that pretty clear. They want to go in the route of like TV. So they promote like the most boring fucking garbage ever. Like James Corden, Jimmy Kimmel. Any of the mainstream media outlets. Thanks, Reese and Verpex. And the resub Phidia and Icarus. Prime Nerdy and Key. TV's dead though? Yeah, I, I don't know what they don't understand about it. Why do you want to try and be like a dead media? <laughs> it makes no sense. It really just doesn't get it. I, I really just don't get it. Thanks a bit deep. Yeah, of course it was deep. Thanks a reset by Nov. <clears throat> and the reset water guy. You speed running tonight? Probably not tonight. 
But speaking of speedruns, AMOC is getting wild. So we're we're really cooking here. They're finding all kinds of skips now. Nothing super huge yet, except for this. I think right now this is the biggest skip they've found. They've been working on all kinds of like crazy car launches and shit like that. And then this just got posted minutes ago about a bike launch that seems pretty consistent to skip the ride to the train station because it's a really long and tedious ride. So this guy found a fucking cool setup where you go to this man who's fly fishing and he blasts you all the way to the train station. Dist has been trying this for three hours. This only got posted an hour ago. But yeah, it saves approximately 30 seconds. So we're finally getting to that point where we're finding some really interesting tech. I think we're going to be looking at some pretty cool shit coming in here. Thirty seconds. Hey, man, it's a pretty quick game, so a thirty-second time save is a big deal. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. They've been working on all kinds of car launch setups to skip a lot of the driving. It's just not consistent yet. Thanks for another five gift subs, Bay Bear. Appreciate that. And there you said Barry, JC, Veloc, and Mo. Thanks for the resub, Justin. Been a while, man. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the resub, Demon. Are you going to tax the 10k? What do you think I am? The, the government? What? No. Whoever wins obviously has to fill out a, uh, what is it? W9? I don't remember which one it is for prize winnings. But yeah, it gets counted as income tax, I'm pretty sure. There's a prime Argonaut. Like when Dravalin won the 20k bounty I put on the Halo 2 thing. That was a, that was a bit of a process. Yeah, I will, Deep. Thanks for the resub relaxed. Give it as a gift and they won't be taxed. You're talking about friends and families payment through PayPal. That would get me in so much hot water. What horrible advice. I can't advertise a 10k prize pool and then send it as friends and family on PayPal. This has to be by the book. I'm not going to get slapped around by the IRS. The IRS hates this one weird trick. <laughs> yeah, fucking true. I think the tier one hay world and the resub work. And tier one drew. Ooh, these are the tier one Hyrule. And the resub Marcy. And the resub Pat. You can give up to 15k without being taxed. Yeah, but it's a competition. So I can no longer just say, oh, this was just a like a donation to a friend. It's just a little gift. Trust me, if I could, I would. I, I don't I don't want that prize money to be taxed either, man. But I've talked to an accountant about it. Can't can't really do that when it comes to a competition. There's a tier one Darby in the Prime Zoid. Why do rich people buy art? Because it's money laundering. Thanks to the bits cat. 
That's not even a conspiracy. Modern art is actually just money laundering fronts. I actually tried speedrunning Jack and Daxter a couple of years ago. It's just really hard. Let's read some spaghetti. Hey, give it a try, Spidey. You never know. Thanks to the give sub fant and the bits deep in Spidey. No, I, I actually confirm the reason that the God Slap thing got demonetized is because the animation was deemed too violent. It's so fucking dumb. Thanks to 10 gift subs, Reginald. Appreciate the fat drop, man. Thank you for that. They are cracking down extremely hard on violent gaming content and violent content in any form. Legitimately any form. Wow, that's fucking boring. Hey, man, that's a YouTube policy. Leave it to them to cook up the stupidest fucking ideas imaginable. Thanks to Prime Dutch. I think it's a good thing for kids, at least. I mean, that's that's what YouTube Kids is for, though. You don't need that on the main platform. They Again, they are not struggling for ads. It was highly unnecessary. Upload your vids to Twitter. Hey, man, if Elon cracks that code to make Twitter somehow a viable video sharing platform like he keeps trying to talk, uh, try and talk up, sure. I'm Hey, I'm super about it. I don't know how the fuck he's going to do it. But if you can pull that off, yeah, let it ride. Sure. He's a tier one dragon in the prime Dutch and the resub Corby and give sub Weber. He's a resub star. And the resub cock. Give sub again Weber. Do you think that the bot they use to auto-detect curse words will unevenly affect people with accents? It already does. A fun thing that I just learned about, and I don't know how true it is because I haven't confirmed this, but there's talk where channels that are very family-friendly, they're getting demonetized because the auto-generated captions are misunderstanding some of their words and thinking that it's profanity. I was reading about that a little today. I don't know if that's 100% confirmed. Maybe it's other reasons, but yeah, it, it seems like there's already a lot of a lot of goofy shit happening there. It's a bit again deep and resub fish. Yeah, I know, it's just lack of parenting when it comes to that kind of shit. Garbage. Is there some chubby? Is there a way to do something about it? I don't know, man. I'm not like a vigilante. I couldn't tell you. I don't think so. YouTube doesn't really listen to feedback. For a little bit they did, they actually implemented a few changes, at least when it came to live streaming that creators were lobbying for. But when it comes to the actual platform, they're just not implementing shit. They say they will, but then they clearly don't. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Wonder how it'll affect music. They had a special clause saying that music won't be affected. At least not in the same way as normal videos, which makes no fucking sense. 
I don't know how they're going to differentiate with their bots. But whatever. I don't know if YouTube removed sort by oldest, couldn't tell you. Haven't seen that. I think it's a resub zero suit. <clears throat> Any speedrunning games you're doing soon? Yeah, I literally just learned the route for uh, Lego The Hobbit. One of the hardest speedruns I've done in quite some time. Actually, the hardest speedrun I've done since normal The Hobbit. <clears throat> These are some dental, Joey, Ice Main, and uh, Galax. Lego the Hobbit speedruns today. No, like I said, I'm kind of tired. And that's like an actually very intense route. I don't feel like trying that hard. So I'm probably just going to do something more laid back and relaxing when it comes to games. But for now, just shooting the shit, going over some stuff. Thanks to Lioness and Thanksgiving Gaming and Smoger and Hayexa. Oh, I definitely will be running AMOC. In the last week of AMOC, I'm going to be making a huge push to, like, win my own contest. This is right now I'm focusing on LEGO The Hobbit. But yeah, no, I'm absolutely going to start running AMOC. For sure. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people running it. We got we got some gamers running Amok right now. Fucking Cheese is running it too. Distortion just started picking it up today. Yeah, no, we we got we got some gamers on the Amok train right now. Yep, Jervalen's running it. Not pr like pretty much all of them are running it right now. Like all the big speedrunners, fucking cooking on it. Which is just amazing. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. It's so fun to watch. Thanks to the resub, Mysterious Maid and Sunkiss and Rich. Not because the route right now is super wild or crazy, but it's so unbelievably silly. It's just so silly. But it is getting interesting. Like I said, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you guys weren't here when I brought this up a minute ago. They are finding real tech. Like, really actually interesting tech that saves time. So they've been working on all types of car launches, and now most recently this bike launch saves 30 seconds and is difficult but can be somewhat consistent once you get the right setup, it seems. Like, this is brand new. This is an hour old. And it's cool because it uses this guy fly fishing, and he just slaps you across the map to the train station where you need to go. So it's I think I think we're about to enter the golden age of Amok. That's a big one. Thanks to tier one yogurt. We said full metal and taco. Well, that's a stupid change deep, sorry to hear that. How do people find these skips? Oh, if you check the Amok Discord right now. They've released, like, actual resource tools. So there's now, like, actual programs they've released for the sake of practicing where you can save state, save load, and you can actually see every collision box in the game. So you can plot out routes and try different things by seeing how the game responds to shit, like, on a technical level. It's so cool. Oh, and you can also fast forward the game while you're playing it. You can change the playback speeds, so that way you don't have to go through the tedium. It's great. That's how they're finding so much stuff so quickly now, because now they've released, like, legitimate tools in order to get into the meat of it.
bad game night. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Maybe bad game night. I think the five gift subs full metal. I appreciate that. Are the devs watching the speedrun? Yeah, one of the devs in the Discord, and he made a statement saying that he will not update the game until after the competition, so don't worry about patches. So that was a big W, voice crack, big W from the dev. Thanks for resub, Death and Gene. What's the dumbest change YouTube has ever made, in your opinion? Oh, removing dislikes. 100%, not even close. Removing dislikes. Easy. Didn't even need to think about that. That is still one of the dumbest decisions I've ever seen a platform make. If YouTube wasn't as big as it is, that would have killed any other platform. Literally removing a per like literally removing people's voices. It's it's so it's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Thanks for five. Give subs, Ollie. Appreciate that. Resub sprinkles. Haven't they removed dislikes before or something similar? No, what? You're talking about when they first switched from the star system to likes and dislikes. People were very upset about that in the beginning because for a long time stars as a rating were the most common. So people were really reluctant to change that. But I mean, I actually think the move to likes and dislikes was significantly better than the star system. Because you could always gamify the star system. You could always ensure it has like a four and a half star. So no one knows if it's actually dog shit or not. Likes and dislikes, you can see the ratio. But now dislikes are gone, so. Thanks, Arisa, Max HP. And really appreciate it, Ollie. Hope you had a great holiday. The Arisa, Sprinkles. Do you think Twitch could be do you think Twitch could come close to being as popular as YouTube if they started allowing creators to post videos? Absolutely fucking not. What Twitch is no stranger to awful decisions either. Twitch is one of the few platforms I would trust less than YouTube to make intelligent decisions when it came to video sharing. No shot. Is the resub Panini and the Prime Tony? Do you remember the YouTube Heroes program? Yeah, that was a silly one. I didn't even know you couldn't do that deep. Everything just becoming too soft. Yeah, unironically, like, it is getting so weird how so soft might be like a bit of a stretch because I think it's more of a corporate decision for advertisements. But like with YouTube now, the removing of dislikes, the cracking down on violent video games, it's just more of like a like a safe thing. Like everyone's so reluctant to catch any level of controversy. It's so fucking weird. Because again, they're not even hurt. Like they were not pressured. The advertisers, they're all still there. They're, just, they're all still there. They haven't had some kind of ad apocalypse or anything. They haven't had advertisers pull out. They've just come out of nowhere and they're like, you know what? These video games are a little violent. What if a parent's not doing their job and a nine-year-old happens to see a Let's Play on Callisto Protocol? Gonna ruin their whole life. Too traumatic. Age-restricted. And then also, demonetize the rest of the videos around this channel to send a message. It's ridiculous. 
except if it's Markiplier. Nope, Markiplier plays by the same rules as everyone else right now. His Callisto Protocol video is age-restricted. He's been demonetized. Mm -mm. Everyone's getting slapped. You're all catching the long dick out here. The only people that aren't affected are mainstream media outlets like Jimmy Kimmel, James Corden, fucking late-night talk show hosts. They don't play by the same rules. Thanks for the bits deep in the prime fin boy. Do you ever think YouTube was go would go as far as to remove the comments as it's hurting small creators bullshit? Oh, absolutely. What? I've said that like 10 times. I think the next thing YouTube does, the next big one they do in the next probably like five years is remove comments. 100%. 100%. No doubt in my mind. And I already know how they're going to justify it. Oh, the comments have been very toxic and has been used, used to weaponize and ruin careers of smaller channels. Also, so many bots that we can't stop because we're not putting any effort into any kind of bot detection protocol. It's so many scams in the comments. The comments are just a bad place, so we're doing everyone a favor and removing them. I can 100% see it. I've speculated that's the next thing to go for a minute. You can turn off comments, though. Yeah, but you can turn off uh, dislikes, too. Or, well, likes and dislikes. And they still remove dislikes. You still had the tools to turn off dislikes if they were hurting your feelings. But then they still did it across the whole platform. So it doesn't matter if they already give you the tools to turn it off. At some point, they'll step in and just say, No, it's just coming off no matter what. What do you think needs to happen for YouTube to change for the better? I don't know, man. I'm not on, not on the inside. I couldn't tell you. I will say, and I've said this a lot, Susan's like the only... Well, I guess no longer the only because of Elon Musk. But one of the very few CEOs of a massive social media company that seems somewhat in tuned with the creators. Like, she does talk to people on the platform. And she does celebrate things from people on the platform. But it seems like she has no sway on the actual decisions of the company. Like, I give her credit for at least paying attention to creators on there, but it does fuck all. She just plays you. Even if, even if she does just play you, uh, another an example I always use is the CEO of Twitch, Emmett. Emmett doesn't even know he's the CEO of Twitch. When you go to his Twitter profile, it's the last thing he mentions. He doesn't have a fucking single mention of Twitch, the company he is the CEO of, for months. Like, he doesn't talk about the platform, he doesn't know shit about the platform. And that's It's like that for a lot of CEOs. But still, even though Susan does seem to at least recognize there's creators on the platform and like celebrate it on Twitter she makes no meaningful changes to it or at least not for the better so it's it's useless seems more like just fan service than anything but I always I always at least like to point that out yeah yeah is Io there? No, oh, I'm. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't see her. Or I didn't hear. Her. Yeah, sorry. It's open now. Thanks to resub Neo and Floopy, in the bits way, the resub crow.
Did the cat bite through the pipes again? No. I had my door closed and apparently I wanted to come in. And then I didn't hear. YouTube's Twitter tweets are embarrassing. Thanks, YouTube Tyler. Can't say I've seen one from him for a little while. Is your sub defensive? Hey, Io, come here. No, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. Well, now she's pissed. I didn't know. We're we doing bad games. Again, man, I'm not sure. I haven't fully decided what we're playing tonight. Is Resub Carson and Jason? No cat tree? No, not in here. She doesn't like the cat tree in here. She likes to come and just chew on all the wires and shit. Well, yeah, she wouldn't use it. She just chews on the wires. Yeah, maybe. I think she's too into just chewing on all these wires. He's a vibe. You've subs white t-shirt. Good to see you, man. You think YouTube will sink in the near future? No. I will tell you what platform I think will start to falter is Twitch. Every decision they've made for the last, Jesus, I don't know, year has been a change in the wrong direction. And YouTube's picking up a lot of steam on live streaming. And Twitch is clearly having a very difficult time monetizing the platform in a way that's acceptable for their bottom line. So I think Twitch is going to be the next, the, the first major platform to really start to shake. Nah, Elevated Chat was fire. God rest in peace, Elevated Chat. Gone too soon. Thanks for the resub, Bracco. What about Facebook? Man, get the fuck out of here with that garbage. Facebook? Facebook live streaming? You kidding me? That is terrible. I don't know if you guys have ever tried watching anything on Facebook live streams. I've tried. That shit is garbage. Thanks to Tier 1 Smack. It's possible, Deep. I mean, I wouldn't put it out of the question. What about kick live streaming? Hey, you never know. I, I keep seeing Jake, uh, Jake's tweets about that guy that keeps fucking on stream. So, uh, you know, maybe kick will carve out its own niche. <laughs> so, wait, no idea. We'll see. Yeah, he keeps fucking hookers on stream. Yeah, that's what the tweets were saying. I haven't seen it, though. I mean, yeah, you can put it, like, over there. She might use it. I don't think she'd do anything over here because the wire's a distractor. Yeah, you can try if you want. Okay. Next to the bits of Weibo. We'll see. The wire chewing phase lasts for a long time. Well, I have no doubt, yeah. Yeah, she only ever chewed through wires. That's not true, she chewed through our water pipe. That's not a wire. No, it's a cord. It's water. It's a tier one serenity. Yeah, she likes water. Yeah. And there you said Lucy. Hey, yo, yo. She's still mad at me. Yeah, she seems mad. Oh, because I gave her a bath. No, she didn't like that. 
And it's not that she hates it either, she just hates my dryer. <laughs> Jesus, she's big now. Yep. She's a big animal now. She's a real fucked up looking <laughs> dog. Ah. She wants to go. Jesus, she wants to go down and play. Let her down. Yeah. Go. She sees Kata. Well, no, she just wants to be mad at me more because mm. I tried her. If I wouldn't have tried her, she wouldn't be so mad at me. But she also enjoys not being soaking wet. So I can take her being mad at me for a night to dry her off. Yeah, she'll be alright. She'll get over it. Is she still stinky? Not right now because of the bath, but usually, yeah, she's kind of stinky. She's not always stinky. Well, she's not always stinky. Just kind of commonly. Into the bits of white t-shirt and deep, I guess, yeah. The Idaho killer they caught... Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot to look at that. They caught that Idaho killer. Yeah, they, they finally fucking caught the guy. Man, I tell you, it's always the people you least suspect, right? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it certainly doesn't look like a fucking weirdo. Yeah, I'm glad they actually got him. I, I, fu I thought for sure he got away with it. He's a resub Jesse. And the give sub ham chuck. And the bits again deep. And the give sub smack. He was posting on Reddit about the crime. Wait, what? I didn't read that. Where's the source on that? <clears throat> Is it, it... Where was it? Yeah, but I just control F Reddit. Let's see if it's even in here. No. Yeah, what if I do? What we know about uh, we'll go to this one, I guess. What we know about the suspect arrested in connection with the Idaho college student killings. Jesus, he was a PhD PhD student in the school's criminal justice program. Wow. Things that give sub Tony in the resub sixty. A Reddit post asking about criminal offenses. Wow. So this seems to have been a crucial component here. Koberger was previously an undergraduate and graduate student of this. I don't know that university. DeSales University. According to a statement on the school's website, DeSales is a Catholic university in Pennsylvania, graduated with a bachelor's in 2020, and then completed his graduate studies for master's of arts and criminal justice program. In a post that was removed from Reddit after the arrest was made public, a student investigator associated with DeSales University study named Brian Koberger sought participation in a research project to understand how emotions and psychological traits influence decision making when committing a crime. The now removed Reddit post said, In particular, this study seeks to understand the story behind your most recent criminal offense with an emphasis on your thoughts and feelings throughout your experience. What the fuck? Wow. Thanks for the bits, Mac, and Deep. 
He posted on 4chan earlier this month that he was hiding in the woods in Pennsylvania. The resub is assassin. Guy's actual lunatic? Well, yeah, obviously, man. He killed four people. Of course he's a fucking lunatic. But not every lunatic is a Redditor. Jesus Christ. They eventually narrowed their fo focus on Koberger after tracing ownership of the Elantra back to him, according to two law enforcement sources, and his DNA also matched DNA that was recovered at the crime scene. Huh. He drove across the country in the Elantra and arrived at his parents' house in Pennsylvania around Christmas. Damn, he was not visited by Santa Claus this year. He got coal in his stocking. He was on the naughty list. I cannot believe they actually caught the killer. This really seemed like it was going to be a cold case. Here's the prime leftover in Jib Jab. Super happy to hear that though. That's great news. Yeah, his next post can be about how prison food makes you feel. And the emotions that you experience when eating the gruel. Things are some muffin and swizzle. This arrived, what happened? This is about the uh, killing of the four students in, uh, in Idaho. Is it resub Kirai? What do you mean? Who's Corey Deep? Oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Muffin. Hold on, quick text message. Just give me one second. Okay, now I'm back. Thanks, Resub Gravity. In the bits deep. Oh, 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 oh. The Corey Kenshin stuff. No, they'll never mention it. Have you seen the TikTok detective who accused their roommates of what being the Idaho, the uh, University of Idaho killer? Sounds like classic TikTok. Oh yeah, they accused their professor. Is it resub? Knee slap. God, that is such TikTok shit too, man. That's so wild. Is it tier one red queen? I know who the Idaho University killer is. It's Professor McGonaghy. Source? I just have a feeling. I checked my tarot card readings today, and it pointed me right to the suspect. Isn't the professor suing them now? I fucking hope so. Fuck TikTok detectives. <laughs> They can suck my dick. Jesus Christ, that is so stupid. I hope the professor's suing them. Might be worse than Twitter detectives. 
at the very least, I don't see a ton of Twitter detectives doing what the TikTokers do. They'll play like some stupid goddamn music and they'll dress up and then go over like horrible, horrible evidence that's just literal fan fiction with the goddamn text to speech on it. It's it's so much worse. At least when it's a Twitter detective, it's just some text and it's like, yeah, this is stupid. But then TikTok, it's a whole song and dance. He's the resub winner. I hope you enjoyed Doom Eternal. Terrible. Great game. But what of the 4chan detectives? Oh, what the fuck? 4chan is like actually the best detectives on the planet. No, Twitter detectives, obviously gar garbage. TikTok detectives should be locked up in jail ASAP. Reddit detectives miss every single time, but at least they're not TikTok detectives. 4chan gets it right almost every time. 4chan's like actual Benoit Blanc level. When 4chan decides to pick up a case, I'm usually like, yep, they'll catch him in the next 24 hours. <laughs> and it'll probably be very accurate. What's something 4chan found? I always cite this one because it's so fucking cool. Anyone remember Shia LaBeouf's He Will Not Divide Us? Uh stuff and then he planted that flag in the middle of nowhere with the perpetual live stream well 4chan found that flag by using airplane patterns that were flying over during the live stream and they're able to triangulate its position and find that flag actual nuttiness Also found that teen that threw the puppies into the river. Oh, yep, 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 yep. They also found that, I think it was an Antifa guy, who was hitting people with bike locks. I think it was 4chan that caught that guy, too. Yeah, no, like, they are unironically incredible detectives. It's crazy, like, it is actually crazy how, like, often they are right on the money. We gotta see the Shia LaBeouf one. Didn't Internet Historian make a whole video on how they found the Shia LaBeouf flag? I'll just do 4chan Shia. Yeah. It's in this video, right? From Internet Historian? I'm pretty sure it is. But even if it's not in that one, there's this one for it. This was such a big deal when they did it. Fortune can't beat the best GeoGuessr guy. That GeoGuessr guy is kind of next level. But the GeoGuessr guy would only come into the investigation after they have, like, photo evidence of, like, a general location of where they think he is. Then the GeoGuessr guy can come in and tell you exactly the street, country, town, whatever that that is taking place in. But they need that photo first. If they don't have that information, then he's not going to be helpful. Thanks for the bits, Happy and Tori. And the prime person. And said bless. Him plus Joseph Joestar would go crazy. Who, the GeoGuessr guy? Watch To Catch a Predator. Uh, we've already watched the entire series. And also Hanson vs. Predator. I've seen every single episode. I love that shit. That content just never gets old, but I, I've seen it all now. Thanks the bit, Halo.
Brian posted his location on 4chan. No, chat said that he posted that he's hiding in a Pennsylvania forest. I don't think he, like, gave his full location. Could this be Brian posting on 4chan form all this time? Here's, like, a single tweet from a random account. Oh my fucking god. Maybe, or it could just be somebody RPing. The guy actually was caught in PA though. I don't know if that was like common knowledge. But he was also caught at his parents' house. Not exactly just in like a shithole in the woods. The house was in the woods? His parents' house was in the woods? I don't know why they'd put this information in here, but I'm just very curious now. Jesus. I tell you, always the people you least expect. <laughs> this guy actually couldn't take a picture without looking like a psychopath. Have they heard from the parents yet? This doesn't even mention his parents' house. Or actually, you could have said family's house, maybe. Oh. Nope. I'm still just going to go out and say probably unlikely that that was him on 4chan posting. His parents' house is in a gated community in the woods of PA. So the opposite of a shithole, but it was in the woods. How'd they find out he was the killer? Uh, they traced the Elantra. They are looking to speak with the driver of the 2011-2013 Elantra that was spotted near the victim's house. So they honed in on that detail, connected it to this guy, and then connected other dots. <clears throat> became, his, became their prime suspect. He gives a biscuit in the prime rifo. I doubt it, Tori. I don't think so. Motive? Psychopath. Uh, probably not mentioned here, but he made a Reddit post talking about crimes and like how crimes make you feel when like uh, committing a crime. Like he's trying to take a temperature and get people to answer. So it seems like just an absolute psychopath who wanted to know what it felt like to kill people. The resub ether. Distortion two may have just found a consistent skip to the to traverse to train station in Amok. Really? That looks good. I sent myself a call leave. There's a doctor. I should have helped. I must catch up and apologize. It looks like you line yourself up with the tree. Oh, let's go. That does look good. Little bunny hop. Yep. 
I'm telling you, AMOC speedrunning is about to get so crazy. I'm so excited. We're finding some good shit now. You need to do some runs of it. I plan on it. Like I said, uh, I'll probably start running it like the week before competition closes. I want to focus on getting some type of competitive run for LEGO The Hobbit first. And then I'll do some runs of AMOC. So many runs come in, it's awesome. Yeah, that is so fucking good. I'm so excited, J-Mac. Thanks again for helping out and doing everything. You and Kronos have been actual angels here. Thanks to the resub, Nozel. It's been wild on the internet this week. What's your favorite topic so far? I'll give you my favorite topic of the year. My favorite topic all year is the teabagging is equivalent to real world sexual assault. I always forget that that happened this year. It is by far my favorite topic. Here's the prime Neve. That feels like so long ago. I know. I, I just completely forgot that it was this year. Twitter tried to argue that teabagging, and, and not only Twitter, uh, who picked up that story? It wasn't Kotaku, was it? Might have been Polygon. Someone, one of the usual suspects, picked up that story and ran with it like it's a real issue about video game teabagging being equivalent to real world sexual assault and traumatizing. That shit was so unreal that that happened. Didn't some pro gamer get banned over it too? In, in Apex, but not from Apex themselves. It was a community run tournament and the guy teabagged his teammates death box because they were joking around in their call and the goddamn host of the tournament got so offended he banned him on the spot, banned the whole team on the spot. Doubled down, refused to see reason and now they no longer exist because the community ate them alive for that dog shit. They also had that very creepy thing where they ho they hosted a 36-hour live stream of what was basically a public service announcement like PSA where it was text-to-speech reading about like how they're not changing, teabagging is unsportsmanlike and unwelcomed in their tournaments, this and that. It was awful. It wasn't Valorant, it was Apex. The initial post about teabagging and Valorant being equivalent to sexual assault is where it stemmed, but what I'm talking about was an apex. No, it was a community-hosted tournament. It wasn't an official one. Thanks to the resub garage door. And the Bits Biscuit. Thanks to the Resub Kev. Did they ever recover? The community hosted um, organization? No, like I said, they, they no longer exist last I checked. That sunk their whole thing. And rightfully so, they fucking deserve it. Banning a whole team for teabagging? Are you, are you serious? How dumb can you be? <laughs> just don't play games. It's just, it is just really not that deep. Is it Prime Cold?
Any thoughts on the GTA RP drama on LSF about plagiarized Clips' subalerts and lawyers getting involved? I wasn't going to say anything because I don't really keep up with the GTA RP community anymore, anymore, even though I still am a fan of the content. I'm not, like, deep into the community and keeping up these days. But I saw what you're talking about. It seems like there is so much hostility currently with GTA RP. Apparently those two that you're referring to and that was big on LSF have had a history of hating each other. But it's so goofy to threaten to get lawyers involved because a guy you don't like is using your voice as a sub-alert. Like, how delusional can you be here? Uh, I, I won't bother playing the, the clip or anything. The title is right on the money with what he's saying. It's, it's so dumb. You might get sued if you play the clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah good, good point, I guess. But yeah, it, this is this is some garbage. I have legitimately no respect for someone that tries to use lawyers and legal shit to bully people they don't like. Especially over something so trivial, his subalert had his voice in it. Okay, ask him not to. Or do it back. Easy. Is the resub whiz grateful and singo? Or just fucking ignore it. Yeah, well, yep. Or yeah, just ignore it. Because it, it's just it's not a big deal. Like it's like it's just not. And it's certainly not a big big enough deal to get like an RP lawyer in here. Like it's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. No, I don't think so deep. I, I, I don't. Can we watch the clip where they threaten you with lawyers? I... I don't know enough about this guy. I feel like, based on this clip, he seems like the kind of person that would. But that's not the reason I'm not playing the clip. It's just, it's kind of a boring clip. He's just like, oh, Pint is using subalert with my content. I'm gonna have to get on the phone with my lawyers about that. You can't do that. Why, I never. I oughta. His content on an unlicensed mod. I wouldn't even go there. The fucking steam would be coming out of this guy's ears. He's a five gift subs, apiology. What are you doing tonight? Right now, just going over some wacky topics. I do plan on playing something, I just don't know what yet. Maybe I'll look for some stinkers on Steam. That does sound kind of fun. No, I Am Jesus is still in, like, beta right now. It's not fully out yet.
Have you thought of the next game you'd like to speedrun? After the Hobbit, I'm doing Amok. Thanks a resub swine. When do you think YouTube peaked in communication and love for all creators? I can't think of a time YouTube ever communicated. And I've been on there since 2006. Made my current channel in 2007. I actually can't think of a single time in my entire history on that site where it was like, wow, YouTube is talking and listening to us right now. Thanks to the Bits Bunny. I did watch that bunny. I forwarded all of that to YouTube to hopefully get it all resolved. Yeah, I saw about the hut situation. I caught up. So hopefully they'll set that right. Holy shit. Did you see the cop chase that had 50 cop cars last night for a man that killed a police officer? What the fuck? That's by far the most serious crime committed during one of these chases here. No, I didn't even hear about that. That's definitely not like a fun to watch chase though. A murderer. I'll, I'll think I'll pass on that one for Twitch. It's fun when it's just like silly stuff like, oh, this guy, he didn't want to get pulled over for expired plates. So now he's running and it's silly. They killed him, so yeah, better not. Yeah, it's probably uh, probably frowned upon on Twitch. Have you seen the Harmful Language Initiative by Stanford? I was wondering how long it would take someone to bring that up. That's kind of old now. It's been like two weeks, but yeah, I saw that. I didn't know it was real at first. But I did see it. Oh, whoops. Misspelled. They want to make American like a terrible term. <laughs> it, it's it's pretty dumb. It's it's a uh, misguided to say the least. And they're kind of backpedaling on it, as you can see here in the bold. But yeah, it's it's pretty rough. The elimination of harmful language. I don't know who would read that and get excited. That is terrifying. What were they saying about American? I don't remember like the exact verbiage, but it was basically to the effect of when you hear the word American, you're, you're immediately taken to the most awful parts about being an American. Usually it's, you know, synonymous with being a terrible person for this and that American is a it's an awful thing to even say. Where's the prime Derek? I already talked about that a little deep water. Ultimately, she's not making meaningful changes, helpful ones. And yeah, I do watch Bunny.
There's Risa Branos and Sour. The reason about American is because it's more than one America, North and South. Was that the argument they made? Because I've, I, it's been a while. Like this isn't new. I really thought I remembered it being about like when you hear American, you're immediately taken to the worst parts about being an American. But it's been months now, so maybe I'm crossing wires. Because in that case, why would they then make an update to the policy saying we've heard concerns about the guide's treatment of the term American? Why would they backpedal on it? Are you sure? I mean, I don't know why I'm even questioning you. You probably read it more recently than I did. No, I, I know that they have the preferred term right here of just U.S. citizen, but I thought for sure, and again, it has been a while, that it was mainly stemming from the fact that American has very negative connotations around it, at least in their arguments. But again, it's been a while. I fully concede that could be misremembering. Is he that? Do you think Karen is derogatory? <laughs> I, I I don't no I, I I don't subscribe to the Karen being a slur thing. Was that in their list of harmful words? I don't remember. Is that why you bring it up? I'll have to reread this. For instance, yes, American from the imprecise language section is now problematic. Okay, but here, you're right. It seems to have been focused on the fact that not everyone is in, like, the America for it. Okay. What the fuck? A child, I don't remember this one. A child prostitute is now a child who has been trafficked. So that prostitution does not become the child's identity. And the fun and meme Karen is out, used to ridicule or demean certain group of people based on their behavior, and should now be the mouthful, demanding or entitled white woman. Wait, is it? Well, this is from wait. Why is this from Fox? Where I thought I thought this was like the official release. Oh, here it is. It was one up. Eh, I'll read it on my own later. A silly non-issue. Yeah, it seems like a very silly non-issue. Uh, I don't think we need to be policing the word Karen. And I, that child prostitute thing is a... that That's a weird one. I, I don't think many people, when referring to a child that's been sex trafficked, associates them as like a prostitute as part of their fucking identity. That is such a weird stretch. It's for the victim, not you. But even from the perspective of a victim, though, no one associates them with being a prostitute. 
That was just the term for child prostitution, kids that were sold into prostitution. A child who was sex trafficked, you're saying the same thing in more words. It's still, you're still referring to them in the same manner. So wouldn't the argument still be that you're making the sex trafficking part of their identity? It, it's not computing with me. Is the idea you're still calling them a prostitute? I just feel like that's such a stretch because no one's referring to the actual kid as being a prostitute. It's just child prostitution. Was just was just the term for it, and even still, you're referring to them as a sex trafficked kid. It's you're just saying the same thing in the same way with more words. It's a bit steep, but yeah, this was this was an older one. I don't remember if we ever talked about it on the podcast or not, but yeah, I read that a while ago. It's a bit funny, Nerissa Vados. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry to hear that, Bunny. Well, I hope things look up, and I'm wishing you the best. Stay strong out there. There's Nerissa Bopako. Have you seen the Ubaville interview with Nikocado Avocado? Yeah, and he has a whole podcast with him now. I haven't watched the podcast yet, though. But yeah, I know. They're doing big things together out there. The resub Mac and the resub Apex, or the bits Mac and resub Apex. You can't choose a worse hiding spot than this from Code Blue. Did Code Blue put something new out? You can't choose a worse hiding spot than this. I bet you could. I'm sure I could think of a thousand worse spots to hide. On October 19th, 2022, an Ozaki County Sheriff's deputy was monitoring traffic when he observed a speeding vehicle in Port Washington, Wisconsin. He attempted Agreed, to catch buddy. up to the vehicle to monitor its driving behavior and possibly conduct a traffic stop. When he activated his emergency lights, the vehicle began to slow, but then started to accelerate, eventually reaching 100 miles per hour. A little POV chase, let's go. Man, the police chases do not stop. Okay, that was a quick one. We got him. Oh, wait, he hasn't accelerated yet. Oh, we just caught up. It's gonna be like, damn, that was a casual 100 miles per hour. Once it became clear the suspect was aware of their presence, the deputies decided to terminate the pursuit. Way too dank. That was allowed. About a minute later, a Port Washington police officer was parked on an interstate on-ramp shoulder and was aware of the fleeing vehicle. Eventually, he observed headlights in his rearview mirror approaching quickly after driving through a stop sign. He then heard the driver lock their brakes before striking into his marked squad car. Man, what do you mean no audio? I want to hear the director's commentary here. As he called out over the radio, he observed two males running from the suspect vehicle. Hands! Stop running! We're doing the Ozaki 2 running onto the highway! Stop running! The two suspects ignored the officer's commands and ran across all four lanes of the interstate. God, this is disorienting. It's still running north side. Run smoother, Run please. You're ruining the video. Jesus Christ. They're running through traffic. Into the median. Oh, 
Oh my god, this guy isn't even thinking about the cinematography at all. He keeps blocking the camera. Amateur. You'll never make it with Martin Scorsese this way, I'll tell you what. 95. One's got a gray suit hoodie. The other one's got a purple and they're both in sweatpants. Can't even run 20 feet. Yeah, that was <laughs> stamina bar wasn't exactly maxed out or anything on this guy. I didn't clear the car yet. The car is not clear, Lieutenant. I don't see anyone in the back. Get behind me. Get behind me. No one's in the back seat. <clears throat> I couldn't, I'm not, I'm not, I couldn't go across the interstate. I'm not going to follow him on foot across the interstate. I mean, true. Probably the right call. Good, Can't blame him for not doing that, I'll be honest. Okay. I'll let you check out by the ambulance when I get here. <laughs> At this point, let's just stand by. If possible, they might come back. Thanks to the two gifts of recording. Now, where's their hiding spot at? Let's see how bad this hiding spot really is. <laughs> We lost him. He de aggroed. <laughs> that was the slowest jog ever. Put out now! Put your hands out! Who else is in the car? Oh, so his friend is hiding here? Where did the driver go? There's. Are you the only one in the car? I can't imagine. It's just a bad hiding spot. I feel like I'm being clickbaited. Put your on the ground in front of you now. Stop moving. Lay down. On your stomach. Now. Who else is in the car? I got him covered. Do you wanna... Is there anyone else here? Do not move. Why do they even censor the fucks? Do you need an ambulance? I don't even see the point. Yeah. Where do you hurt? The whole fucking body hurts. We need to know who else was in the car. If it was just you, that's fine. But we need to know who needs help. It's a new Where's YouTube he? policy. <laughs> yeah, Code Blue is getting hit hard. They have to the censor all the guy. swear words. 24 Zaki, 1080 with one. Were you a passenger or the driver? We need to know who we else know. might be hurt, okay? I'm tired. Can y'all wait? No, we need to know right now. I can't breathe. All right, roll over. I think it's your one breaker. I don't know, and still one Stand up. Can you get up? Okay. We'll get you up so we can get you seated, okay? It'll be more comfortable okay, for you. I can't really move. Okay, where are you hurt? The, the driver was wearing move. a gray hoodie. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he did just get into an accident. Pee on myself. Well, then you're gonna pee on yourself. Pee on yourself. But sit up. Where's this hiding spot at? For me, okay? I gotta make sure you're awake. Oh, why do you look you hurt? Crash. Oh, oh god damn it, I just spoiled it. Fuck, fuck, fuck! God, oh my god. Put that your went hands too far. up! Do it now! <laughs> I know you're not a plant. Slowly. <laughs> straight up. He went with the Looney Tunes approach. Straight up, hands up. Hands up. Drop that. I can't say I don't respect it. This is like something out of Dark Souls. He, he tried to like blend in with the environment, like turn into a like a potted plant. Not the worst idea ever, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I certainly wouldn't be looking for someone with just a, a pot over their head. Like he'd fool me. Prop hunt. <laughs> True. Thanks to the give sub insomnia and the resub fay and metalhead. If the clothes weren't so flashy, it'd work. Let's not get carried away. What do you mean weren't so flashy? He's wearing black pants. It's not exactly like he's standing out with like a fucking orange or green. Like it's just it it's not a like a great idea. He literally did what you do when playing hide and seek with a toddler where you put a lampshade over your head.
And since I can't see your face, they think that it's not a human anymore. Like, it, it's just not a good hiding spot. I don't know why he... Like, I feel like he had plenty of time to do anything else. Like, he could have just, like, covered himself in this blue tarp. I don't know why I'm pointing, like, in real life. Like, you can see what I'm pointing at. He could have covered himself in this blue tarp, even. Like, he could have just actually gotten to the fetal position, pulled the blue tarp over himself, and just prayed for the best. If he can't see them, they can't see him. Fair. Thanks in tier 1Z and the resub red and epsilon. He should have painted a road on the wall. <laughs> if only. He, he might not have had enough time for, for that song and dance. But I feel like he just had plenty of time to just cover up with the tarp and run it. Wiley did it in two seconds. I guess. I mean, you're not wrong. The blue tarp would be more obvious. You son of a bitch. What? You're telling me blue tarp just on the ground would be somehow more obvious than him sitting down with a pot over his head? Human shape over a blue tarp? At the very least, he goes out with dignity. Like, I'm not saying it's gonna work, but it's better than going out like this. I know you're not a plant. Slowly. At least you can say there was a there was an attempt. What about blue tarp plus pot? That'd be kind of that'd be kind of a hard setup. But yeah, he didn't have a ton of options here. I really do feel like he had enough time, though. But they did just get into an accident. It's very possible he's really concussed right now and can't think straight. Because he did have, like, quite a bit to, to prep some kind of good hiding spot or disguise. He's a prime comic. Yeah, the top five worst games for the Moisties comes out in like two, two or three days. I did the list today. <laughs> that was good. That actually lived up to the hype. I was expecting it to be just like an underwhelming like standard hiding spot, but this was innovative. I haven't seen someone actually try prop hunt rules in real life before. There's a prime mic in Zoomy. Looks like the entrance to the cellar next to him could have hid there. Well, I'm sure that's locked. I am 100% sure that shit is locked up. Have you seen the Let Me Solo Her Elden Ring animation? I don't know, I don't think so. If you're talking about this one, I saw this, but this isn't like so much an animation as it is the like the story. These are resub tools. Yeah, maybe bunny, and thanks to the prime Mikey. The third one? Oh, f this is actually from Let Me Solo Her. Okay, give me two seconds though. I want to tinkle real quick. I'll be right back.
I got a little snack as well. Got a little rumbly tummy. Thanks to Prime Whales and the Resub Toasty and Spoon. And the Resub Gatos. What's your snack of choice? I don't really have a snack of choice. It's usually just anything that's protein heavy. So whatever I have available for that. So like right then I just ate some leftover meatloaf. Thanks a resub arc. See any of the speed tech that just got discovered on AMOC? Yep. Of course I did. And I saw Distortion using it already. <clears throat> and to credit the person that found it, his name is <laughs> Pone Noobs in the Discord. He posted it about two and a half hours ago. And that looks like it's going to be the biggest discovery so far. Well, it is the biggest discovery so far. So I'm excited to see it continue to push. Is there a resub true dream, true dream and give sub saints? Yeah, we can see what kind of shitty games are on Steam real quick. Give me two seconds here. Alright, let's see what we got. If I don't find something right away, I'll probably just keep shooting the shit with whatever's going on in the world. But I'll at least take a peek, see if there's anything that really catches my eye. He's a prime mindless in tier one talking pork bun. Why isn't this giving me a preview? That doesn't look fun. This is your subcomic. Any of them, Kibos. Are the previews not working right now? That's unlucky. It has to be in full screen for previews to work? Oh. That's interesting. Epic Assassin. Bad dudes are invading the realm. The queen has hired an epic... Oh my god! No way. I recognize this description because it's always bad dudes. It's the boy wonder. Wait. Yep. Search for Fran, yep. Epic princess, bad dudes are invading the castle, gotta save the princess, I imagine. Undead dudes this time have killed the king. That is crazy. What are the odds? No, I've already played a ton of his games. <laughs> we went down a whole rabbit hole. Remember Evan Quest? These were the bad dudes that took over the city. I, I've already played a ton. These are the bits again, Bunny and Resub Zotorious. Yeah, I told you, Bunny, that movie is something special. No, we don't need more fucking 
epic assassins and bad dudes. Why is this $60? This used to be a free Flash game. Man, the shamelessness. Holy lord. $60. Wow. <laughs> wow. Also, this picture has nothing to do with the game. This is a random stock photo from Google Images. What the fuck is this? This is just a blatant scam. Man, you got some nerve. <clears throat> My grandparents' Christmas mystery. Grandma never showed up, and Grandpa's tragic passing three days le later left me in anger, confusion, and sadness. Couldn't just let it go like it never happened, so I decided to go and find out what happened on my own. Will you survive a first-person psychological horror game and uncover the mystery? Mm. These horror games seem like they'll be fun bad games. And then I actually play it and it's just miserable bad. It's just slow and boring. So I don't know about this one. Let's see the user reviews. Very short, nicely done. Good game. The wolf gets me every time. Seems like there's a bit of a difficulty spike with the old wolf. Aircraft pushback simulator? It's about goddamn time. Don't blame you. Yeah. Doesn't look fun, bad. The Epic Fish Head Adventure. Cool MMO. Exhibits by Bunny and Deep. <laughs> Have you seen the Skyward Sword speedrun history? No, I don't think so. Uh, I'll talk about that later, Bob. It won't be today, though. Not for that topic. Things a bit steep. Is that a game deep? Oh, almost went to hentai. Huh. What's your total amount of games on Steam? 800 something. I don't remember like the exact number, but it's like 800 or something. Oh, well then maybe after, maybe later deep. Warrior Paint 2005 Game of the Year Edition. This is a game that came out in 05. Never heard of it.
Not worth it. Feels like a demo of an old Call of Duty clone. Definitely recommend the game with low price tag. Yeah, let's see some gameplay. No! What the fuck? War is hell. Is there no audio in the game? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no! We had a family! Is this really only a seven minute game? Is this pretending to be an old game? I don't know. Let's see. Did it? Is this actually a 2005 title? No, it's just pretending to be an old game. That's so weird. Is resub slick in the prime R cheap? Sure, fuck it. I'll let it ride. Whatever, I'll try it. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be fun bad, but it's worth rolling the dice and seeing. It, at the very least, it should be more interesting than Grandma's Christmas Mystery or whatever the other one was. Thanks the resub, Jojo. Okay, this is kind of hype. The banner is AI generated. You can tell by the faces and the hands. They AI generated this image. 100%. Wow. Look at us in the future. We've, we've come such a long way with technology, it's unreal. Now you can use it in your low effort, awful Steam cash grabs. I'm being harsh, I haven't even played the game yet, I don't even know why I'm singling it out like that. I just don't like being lied to, this game didn't come out in 2005. Hey, thanks for the five gift subs, Frank. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs even though checkered by failure, than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in gray twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. Teddy Roosevelt. What a guy. Run it. This one's for good old Teddy Roosevelt. I've got a pair- <gasps> It's even sadder the second time around. You bastards, get out of my country! Oh, God. Coming to take our constitution, huh? Jealous of our freedom. for it. I thought we just had like a treaty or something, a little truce. Negotiated peace on the battlefield. What's this way? Nothing.
It only goes by how much ammo you have. Whoa! Scripted, I guess. Fuck. Molotov cocktails. These hands have so much blood on them. Innocent men forced to fight in a war they didn't want to participate in. No! Oh, don't make me do it! Oh, he was just a boy. Oh, God. He died a painless death. They always say that burning alive is usually the fastest and most humane way to go. Sneak attack. I hope he's having a nightmare so that way I'm not like interrupting a good dream. I'll just be adding to it. Here you go. Wow, he took that like a champ. Oh no! The couch too. He's a tier one Gatsby. Some Lord. Hiya! This feels like a scene out of Killer Bean. Take this! Get out of this country! Jealous of our liberty? I don't blame you. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Can't jump. Oh. Ah! He shot my fingertips off. <gasps> you saw what I did to your friend. Jesus! Let's go! Jesus was an American, and he's not forgiven sins today. I'm not reading all that. text message <gasps> oh. well he absolutely went to Valhalla Man, this really could have been the 2005 game of the year. Also, I'm guessing my character is just like sliding around on some ice right now. Or he's got the steadiest footsteps of all time. Look me in the eyes. I 
That's how we do it, baby. Get out of town! No more Mr. Nice Guy. Who's next? What? Okay. The barrel's peeling like a banana right now. That's just how strong it is. Hey, friend. care about gets shot oh oh I thought this was a cutscene they just missed everything I was gonna go check for a pulse just oh where did they come from that was a great ambush I've got to get out of here! Oh boy. They're all filtering in. Time to make like a candle and blow it. I thought for sure there was going to be an explosion behind me. Okay. Not nearly as cool as I thought. What am, what am I doing? Oh, there was... I see. Pardon me, guys. Here we go. Can I climb this a little faster? Okay. Gotcha! Big sneak attack. <laughs> Man, the sensitivity on this is real nuts. No scope. Damn, unlucky. I imagine this is going to be another one of those things that's just based on how much ammo I have. I'm 100% sure that's what it is. So I think the fastest is just going to be to waste all my ammo. A little speed run tech for you. Exit Prime. Samson and Spaniard. I was wrong, now I'm just fucked. Nope, I was right. It's all ammo based. Is that it? Did I beat it? I just live down here in the sewers now? Okay, I guess. Uh, interesting. What's going on? Thank you for your service. Uh, I guess. What, what's happening?
Oh, I have to like go through it myself. Okay. Nice. That was polite, it even closes itself. That was a 13 minute game. Hmm. What do you know? Also got 100% of all the achievements. Nice. Speed run world record. That is a speed run, speed run world record, baby! Let's go! Warrior paint number one. World first, baby. Three sub llama, weed in the prime, the land. <clears throat> Makes the resub marina. That was pretty cool! That was a, hey, that was a game. Awesome. You can see how it beat God of War for game of the year. I mean, the game speaks for itself. Hey, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome. You just missed uh, Warrior Paint. Thanks for using polka corn and gracious. Best thirteen minutes of my life. I'm not surprised. Is there anything bad in that deep? Because that absolutely sounds like there's going to be people getting hurt in it. Because if so, I can't do that. I didn't actually like read the whole title. All right, what's next? That was a cool one. What the fuck? Better off dead. Life is a prison guard. That is a crazy game thumbnail. next time just be warned it can't it contains some heavy subjects like forced eating of excrement sexual abuse extreme violence and gore what a what a big selling point I don't even know if I can stream this one with sexual abuse and shit in it. That might, I, I don't know how hard it goes. Let's do some psychosis. Let's do some done. And yeah, I saw that carp. Watch it myself, everything was fine. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of in a bad game mood. What else we got?
quick text message. Only give me one sec. I'm gonna fill up my water as well. Hold on. Thanks to Tier 1 Eddie, Marie Sub Lamp, Geo, and Gift Sub Rara, and Ghostface. And the Resub Davy. Thanks to tier one, Chloe. You think your God Slap video got demonetized because you said come in a sentence? Well, I didn't say come as in, like, ejaculate. I said, what comes next? No. And I already confirmed with YouTube that it was because the animation was deemed too violent. So, again, they have made it very clear that they are cracking down hard on profanity violent video games, violent animations, any type of violent content or anything adjacent to violence. Like, it's not, like, they have made that clear now. As he reacted to Henry Cavill suing Warner Bros. What? Huh? Henry Cavill, oh, what, did, what the fuck is that? No, that's not even a real story. No, no, that's not even real. That's a single website that's not even legitimate. Thanks for five subs again, Nesh. Good to see you. Hope you had a good day. And thanks to resub Aaron and Prime River. Will this policy prevent you from swearing in future videos? No. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be enforced from here on out. It's 
hard to say, but I'm not going to change my content around for it or anything. But a lot of other people absolutely will. Like, it's for any channel, I, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like, I feel like they might make an argument that Counter Strike is too violent because they have terrorists there and counter terrorists. So, like, let's say you're making Counter Strike, and if they go as hard on this policy as it seems like they are, I could see them making arguments to demonetize Counter Strike content. Or if it's someone that Philip DeFranco starts his video, What's up, you be beautiful bastards? Most likely demonetized unless they make an exception for bastards not being profanity. But yeah, they've age-restricted Callisto Protocol most recently. Um, there was a couple other games they age-restricted that I was... The Quarry, which isn't even a violent game, by the way. Like, the quarry has a little bit of blood at, like, one point, but it's not a violent game. But the quarry has been age-restricted. There was another big one that I'm blanking. I can't remember. But yeah, it's uh, very, very strict. I feel like the core is pretty violent. Yeah, but that's not the focus of the game. There's violent scenes with blood, but even that's not that bad. I, I just don't I don't see that as being bad. Like there's just so there's so many levels to what should go into constituting extraordinarily over the top violent games that deserve age restriction. And the quarry is certainly not one of those. I don't think the policy should exist in the fucking first place. Unless the game's entire focus is on being... So like, Hatred, I could see why they'd want to age-restrict that. It was a game all about being as edgy as possible, so it's about being a school shooter. And, sco and shooting up schools and just mass-murdering innocent civilians because it's supposed to be edgy. I could understand age-restricting shit like that. But, like, Callisto Protocol, The Quarry... I mean, come on. The resub Ikuno and the resub Migzim, Ricin, and Congrejo. No, YouTube will never address the bots in the comment section. It won't happen. Got a feeling horror games will be age restricted in the future. They, they are. Uh, a few of RT Games videos that were age or, uh, they weren't age restricted demonetized were horror games because horror games were deemed a little too violent or shocking. So they, they will be. And they already are. I think the resub triple gamer. Resub Devin. Yeah, those are everywhere now, deep, unfortunately. Because the kids are just brands. I've already talked about this quite a bit tonight, but I imagine a lot of you weren't here for the discussion, so I'll just repeat it. It's no big deal. It's entirely nonsensical. They have YouTube kids, there's no reason to Weenie Hut Jr. everything on the main YouTube platform, and they have no problem with advertisers right now. I'm pretty sure, and I could be misremembering, YouTube had one of its most profitable years of the last... What, uh, of this, of, Jesus, this year was one of their most profitable years. Like, they don't have a problem with ads and revenue. Like, they are only growing. So it comes out of actual nowhere. It makes no sense. It's the resub man. I 
Why are so many companies run by dumb fucks? You would be shocked at how many very successful people are actual fucking idiots. There is, like, a lot of legitimately dumb people. I, I've talked about this before. I'll, I'll mention it again now because it's pertinent to the topic. The company Matt and I started, Human Media Group, the, the agency, which is now MANA cause, since we merged. But that company, I have met so many of those, like, big Fortune 500 tech guys, CEO of big energy drinks. Those fucking people are absolutely brain dead in a lot of situations. Like actual fucking idiots. The bang guy? Oh god, yeah, the bang guy. I already, I, I always forget that guy's name. But yeah, no, like the, so, like, they actually fall into wealth somehow. So they're not, like, extraordinarily intelligent. So they're making... They, they make awful decisions. Is it okay to talk like that to them? Well, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking about some of them. Like, the partners we work with at Mana are great. I'm talking about just some of the people I've met from being in the space. That, that are just completely... Like, brain dead. Like, outside of our sphere. He's a prime Juvini. I still don't think anything would happen deep. Dist found a new skip. Did he really? I like this. We're making lots of progress. Gonna work. Color Arts skip. Get ready. You're about to witness history. Oh, holy shit. Is this crane skip? This is crane skip. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! Is that the skip? Let's go! That's huge. Well, you have to... You still have to launch to get back, right? But I guess if you found a consistent setup here, you'll save time, because even setting up the launch to get back will be quicker than doing the crane. It saves a full two minutes? Really? You can drive out of bounds to get back. Oh, holy shit, that's massive. We're looking at sub-25 pretty soon. This is getting big. This is getting optimized. I thought you still needed to launch to get back. These launches are getting, like, really consistent, so this is going to be pushing the game big. It's been three days. Yeah, it's been three days. We're looking good. Thanks a bit, Stalin. Yeah, the current record, I think this actually just got broken a little bit ago. But yeah, the current record is a 28... Oh, there it is, it's updated. 2835. Zach just took it. He did that during stream. Xerisa, Icos, and the Prime Duck. And Tier 1 Menke. Is that the Star Wars guy? I don't know. I think it is. But I'm not positive. No, no, no. Actually, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure... Because it was Zach Muffin. It was Zach Muffin for Lego Star Wars. This is Zach777. Seven, seven, seven.
I'm doing Hobbit tonight. Not tonight. I was doing some bad games. There's a Canadian parent suing Epic Games for making ch Fortnite too addicting to kids. Yeah, we already talked about that. Just shitty parenting per usual. No one wants to be a good parent anymore. Let the internet raise their kids and get mad about it. Fucking idiots. Actual goddamn idiots. Thanks for the bitch bronze. Are these in the new releases bronze? Because if so, I'll find them. Sixty dollars for this? Man, you got some nerve. Wow. Sixty clams, huh? This is called the worst game. I don't doubt the claim. This looks like it'll be boring bad. Whoa! Thanks for resub, Steve. Hope you had a good holiday. Thanks for gift sub loot. It looks like actual effort went into this one. Puzzle and atmosphere. Damn, four and a half hours. Well, over four and a half hours. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it's about four hours. Wow. This is the game that knocks. Yeah. Seems like just a pretty normal horror game. But with an astronaut for some reason. Like Zathura. But it looks like they did put effort into it. I just... Uh, I'm so tired of playing just fucking walking simulator horror games. Though I guess this one you have an axe you could fight with. This is tier one. <sighs> Magic. And the some slug. Have you played the Colonel Sanders dating sim? Of course I have. I'm 
already played so many puppet combo horror games. <sighs> I will donate a hundred million dollars. Sounds good, man. Excited. Conspiracy TD. Yeah, I got a case of the yawns. There's a tier one spin. Grinded meat. Oh, it was a movie. That yeah, was just an actual movie. Thanks a tier one good pill. It has QTEs play it. Thanks a prime ferret. I'll pass. Is there a barn? You know, Moist Meter Far Cry 3? I mean, I only Moist Meter new things. That game came out like 12 years ago now. Good game, though. Last great Far Cry. Is there Tony? Oh, wow, this is Hearthstone. Rune vs. the card game. Wow, this is shameless. <laughs> this is so blatant. What the fuck? Wow. Well done. Even the card backs are Hearthstone. That's big. No, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. God damn, Nico. Thank you for 20k bits again. I'm not sure when, but usually when I do that, I play with friends, so whenever they're available. Thanks, Risa Avenged. God damn. I still have it up. I didn't forget about it. I gave it a fat drop again. Jesus, thank you for the generosity. Hope you had a great holiday. Thanks to Reset Pickles. Good lord. Thanks to the Bits Mithril. The moist tracksuit is comfy, I told you. That tracksuit's the best thing we've made. I actually literally just wore it the other day when it got cold out. Thanks to Resub Schind Schindler and Wally. Hashtag ad. Hey, he brought it up. Thanks again, Nico. It gets cold in Florida? Rarely, but sometimes. It was like 31 the other day. Now it's back to its normal weather, but yeah, it was like 31 the other day. So I wore the tracksuit.
Have you seen snow? Yeah, of course I have. I don't really like snow. It's not cool. I don't like being cold. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't like being out in snow. He's a bit big T. That's just holiday Migsim. Snow is fun for the first five minutes. It's just cool to look at. It's not cool to be in. Have you played Sonic Boom? I don't remember if I played Sonic Boom or not. Sure, if you want, Mithril. Wondering how many Backrooms games exist? Millions. Anytime there's a popular internet creepypasta, there's a thousand indie games made every day about it. Thanks to give sub avenged. Hard to say, Mithril. When's the next Moist Esports event? I'm not sure when our next big one is. But I do know the Apex one is in February. The Apex Major. And I know the RLCS starts up again mid-January. So regionals will start again pretty soon. Do you sell any merch? Moist Esports merch? I can't tell if you're just setting me up for an alley-oop for like a hashtag ad, but yeah, Moist Global... Our new jerseys and tracksuits are in. That's that stuff that's behind me framed. He's a bitch mithril. $120 game. Yeah, you see these pop up every now and then. $120 for some unforgettable memories in a game that'll stick with you for the rest of your life. A game to pass down to your children and your children's children. In the game, the character manipulated by the player has an infinite bullet weapon. What more needs to be said? That's what gaming is all about. And at $120, I mean they're giving it away. Buy it. No, I already made that mistake with Super Fight. It was a fucking weak ass meme. I'm not doing it again. Not a single person has bought that. You bet your sweet bippy no one's bought that. Obviously. I can tell you immediately what it is. It's exactly the same as Super Fight. It's a single level. It is just this right here. And I imagine with this game, you just shoot endless hordes of these things with infinite ammo. It just never stops, which is why it's called the dream that never wakes up. You're just stuck in this fucking purgatory. He's a bit saints. Mithril. Thanks, mm, resubcarbonated. Refunded after. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I could just do that per usual. Alright, I'll give it a whirl. I'll just refund it. 
Check the dev store page. Do they do this often? Oh my god, $120 right in the shitter. Yikes. The dev just got an alert on his phone and lost his mind. He's like, whoa! Someone actually paid for this? What? That was a joke. Someone actually paid $120 for this thing? Man, there's a sucker born every minute. Ugh. Can't believe I've done this again. Forty three megabytes. And somehow my download speed is tanked. All right, let's see what $120 gets you on Steam. I imagine this is going to blow my mind. It's not even, it won't even actually go on my screen. Okay, I'm going to have to run that in windowed because it won't go, like it actually won't go on my screen. Good start. And there it goes, it's hidden again. How? How? Oh, there we go. Let's go! You can really feel the fun of the infinite ammo. Whee! Get out of here, teddy bears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Picked up the piercing bullet upgrade three times now. Something tells me it's the only upgrade in the game. Piercing bullets again? Man, my RNG is nuts. Too loud? It's $120. If it doesn't blow out my eardrums, then I didn't get my money's worth. And look, heaven's right on the other side. We're getting closer to God here. Oh, I lost my piercing bullets. Oh, luckily I picked it up again. Good RNG. You can't even have the common courtesy to send a lot of enemies after me instead of just two at a time. At least- oh shit! Wait, he's getting crazy. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Already there's been more gameplay in this than Super Fight. Oh, I was short-lived. Some Stark. I don't know, Mithril. Nothing else to do in the game. I think he forgot to spawn enemies past wave one. That's so big. Let's go. Man, I hope this guy enjoys the $120. How is this only 120? I don't know, you must have made a typo. Yeah, there should have been a lot more. Yeah, he just forgot to spawn more enemies. It's one wave. <laughs> Man, this is what gaming's all about though.
Thanks for the bits again, Mithril. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I may have been wrong. They're just taking their sweet time getting here. Let's go! I found the winning strat. Do they even attack? You bitch! Alright, well I got my money's worth. That's enough, uh, enough dreaming there. Let's get back to reality. Five minutes of gameplay? That's not bad. That's, that's really not terrible. You know, that's... <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, it just feels good. Yes, I'm going to refund it, obviously. I'm do that now. Here's the prime trend. Thanks for five. Give some cipher in the prime senpai. Okay. A refund incoming. Usually it takes like two or three days. That was good though. That was good. We needed to check it out just in case. You never know. There could have been a lot of potential there. Is the resub slam gifts I begin Trent? Wait, that was one hundred twenty bucks. Yeah, couldn't you tell? Makes a bit Smith roll. Is there any game you've played that you would buy for 120 bucks? I think the only games, like the only genre of games that justify a price tag that would be like hundreds is MMOs. Because they are constantly adding new content on top of it, so you're always getting more shit. Or live services done well. Yeah, but the only example of a live service game that I could I could justify buying the expansions for because they actually do a good job is Destiny. But even they fumble so often. They just do a really good job with their raids. Speaking of which, I was grinding that today because I'm getting raid ready for Lightfall. We're going to go for day one again, baby. Getting back in the saddle. I know I said I retired, but we're coming back. Yeah, I, I want to be doing like day one raids, like actually going for world first races for raids in every game. So I'm getting absolutely fucking geared out of my mind on WoW right now. And I know I'll never even come close to being ready for world first day or uh, world, Jesus, world first races on next raid. But I at least want to be able to get in there and compete and get smoked. 
Yep, Final Fantasy fourteen is one that I'm considering as well. I just don't know how big or how often raids come to it. But yeah, we're going to be competing in Destiny, WoW, for world first raids during their races. And if Final, if Final Fantasy fourteen does do a lot of raids, then I will also start getting geared for Final Fantasy fourteen. I just love raids. Like, I absolutely love it. It's so fun. And day one raiding, learning the mechanics, and just competing for the, the world first title is so good. It's like an indescribable feeling. It's some of like my favorite streams that we used to do. And it's been so long since we've done it now, since I retired from Destiny 2. But now I'm coming back. You need to catch up on Final Fantasy fourteen. Raids go so fucking hard. Yeah, I, I know like the near raids are really cool and they do bosses really well. It was just such a grind. <laughs> but I mean, that's MMOs, man. Just gotta put in the time. Which I will do. Is there any Final Fantasy fourteen raids coming out soon? There's a resub Jordan, Nidino, Blue, and Tier 1 Jabin in the Prime. Dome and Bits Eric. Yeah, big ultimate one is coming. Is there a release date? When do I need to get raid ready? Is it Prime Lazy? New raid on the 24th, the Omega Protocol. Motherfucker, what? That soon? Is there any chance I could actually get raid ready from where my character currently is? I doubt it. Oh, that's going to be tough. I do want to do raids though. Like I do want to compete in world firsts. <laughs> yeah, just skip a Realm Reborn. Hmm. Maybe. And then I'm going to need to learn the game as well. He's a tier one Tiffy in the bit snert. The bit's mithril. Yeah, I know Final Fantasy fourteen actually has like a banger story. But I mean, that's just something I can like read about or watch on my own. I don't need to play through it. I just need to get raid ready for day one. And I know Matt and Danny are actually max on there and do raids. So it's just me that will need to get raid ready. What server are you on? For what? Final Fantasy XIV? I don't remember. For WoW, Tychondrius. Thanks for YouTube, Cheese House. Oh, no worries at all, Mithril. But yeah, you don't have to donate or anything then. Thanks for the bits, Chloe. And Tier 1 Roof. Have you ever played Detention? Historical horror game? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Makes the prime requiem. Makes the bits again mithril. Not interested in Tarkov. I just I don't know. I never got into Tarkov. I like Dark and Darker. Dark and Darker is my favorite Tarkov like I just I, I like it so much more than Tarkov so when that comes back absolutely we'll be playing that again but I just don't think I could do Tarkov Did 
the Destiny 2 raid prep, do you need help? I mean, I probably will, yeah, because that's not too far from now with Lightfall, and I'm still finishing Witch Queen. That's a very sweet offer, though, yeah. You see the, the YouTube video about the AI that stole 35 mil? Heard about it, haven't watched it. Things are the resub slow. For the new Final Fantasy XIV raid, it's an ultimate, so there's an actual 0% chance you're beating it. We don't have to win. We don't even have to finish the raid. I just want to compete on day one. Well, and then eventually finish the raid, obviously. But we don't need to be the winners. I just love day one rating in the world first. Is there some super sad in R dub? You seen any of the other Final Fantasy XIV Ultimate Raids? I don't think so. Let me see. World first, mouse and keyboard okay, POV. Okay. Can you actually play this game on controller? That blows my mind. Ready, and that. Mevo. On predictor towers. Going in. Man, these raids always do look cool. I love the bosses in Final Fantasy XIV. It really just doesn't seem more mechanically intensive than, like, a WoW raid. Well, the WoW raid that I've been doing, Vault of Incarnates. You'll see. Okay. Fast. Fast. AC. Thanks a bit oh. raining in the resub, Hugo. Okay. Uh, got got him. him. Got him up. I got him. I need him too. Yeah, I'm not fully sure yet, AC. raining. AC. AC. I don't Charity. know what I need. Charity. Charity. Hank and Hills are cardinals. I don't know, I really feel like we could we could finish it at least. Yep, we're ready. I just need to get geared. Arms like, arms like, arms like. Good job. Let's go. Thanks to the bits chronic. Resub Spam and Finn. Opinions on Five Nights at Freddy's. Can't stand it. Actually hate it. I like Security Breach because it was super goofy and silly, but I really don't like the franchise at all. Raise call, one full spread. Chariot Venom. Is he playing a monk right now? I think he is. These look like the abilities Out. I had. And in. Beat. It says Monk POV. Oh, is this not mouse and keyboard? 
Oh, this is a monk? Oh, I thought that was mouse and keyboard. Because I know that this game came to console and everything, so you can play it on controller. So I thought he was specifying it was mouse and keyboard. Oh. I'm on two. Two autos and then check commands. Check commands. Okay, towers, DPS. Okay, so three weeks. I have about three weeks to try and get raid or er, raid ready. Maybe. Maybe I can do it. It's gonna be cutting it close because I'm grinding in so many other games. I'm still grinding Destiny Two to get raid ready for Lightfall. I'm still actively raiding in WoW for Vault of Incarnates, and then I'm still training Slayer in RuneScape because I'm trying to max. Still got four levels left, and then my account's finally maxed. So, I mean, I, I'm, a f I'm a fucking grinding. Thanks to Tier 1 Vox and the resub Twig, Alfredo, and the Prime C Siempre. Yeah, maybe you're right, Dankin. That might be the play. Destiny raid. Well, yeah, but for. So when I say getting raid ready in Destiny, I mean just literally finishing Witch Queen. I still have to do that. That's like actual bare minimum, and I still haven't finished Witch Queen. It was a 21 minute fight, they'll send you back to the beginning if you wipe. Well, yeah, that's every raid. Razageth does the same thing. We've been banging our head against the wall for 10 hours straight on Razageth. But Razageth finally dies on Monday. We're raiding on Monday and we're going to be a lot more strict. If we have, if we have people that aren't quite putting in the work, we're, we're going to have to make changes. We can't keep failing Razageth. He's a tier one emo. There's a chest that gives you 540 gear now, so you don't even need to finish Witch Queen. Well, I'm already 540 as well to be, so, uh, like, I'm at a decent light level. It's just I still need to finish Witch Queen. Lord of the Rings online raids? Is there a Lord of the Rings online game? Lord of the Rings online in 2022 is terrifying. Is this actively updated? Like, do they bring raids to this? The Lord of the Rings online. An MMORPG released back in 2007, set in the iconic land of Middle-earth, had quite the glowing reception on release, but due to the then roaming Goliath that is World of Warcraft, took a back seat, evidently falling short. I never this played this. Years Fuck, later, I never even like heard of this. Still up and populated, with many still diving into its world. And today we do just that to see what the game has to offer players today, and what may have led to it still being standing strong so many years after release. My name's Mitch Mannix, and this is the Lord of the Rings Online. In is it any good? I guess I'll have to As see. Here. Beginnings, we'll need a hero Don't care about character story. creation. Don't care about the story. Online. Let's see in the world. Like collision. Tell you where I saw the finest potato at one of those poncy schmoncy get togethers over in the city. Ah, no, it Pretty good visuals. Spend the wrong way thinking it was a post office. After explaining to the town's captain, Bracklebrook, a of the looming deal. attack, we are tasked with convincing some of the main players in the land to prepare and aid for the coming danger. It's while covering the task in our quest where both the combat as well as the open world gets a decent showcase. The environments feel very dense and believable for such a dated title, 
with landmarks as well as the world's trees and plants, giving a lot of life and detail into exploring. It is revealed that the situation is more dire. This just looks like the most cookie cutter MMO game. ever. The cutscene, as well as the we venture out, we do of nuns as well. Experience with Raj, who in all his bastardry dictator. We are Show me a little gameplay. Show me a dungeon or something. Shire's fire. Big Tom appeared and tried to rob me of my Hobbit gold, oh God. needing for me to have to run away like a total wimp. When it comes to the game's combat, it, like a number of things, is very reminiscent of a game that had only released three years prior, World of Warcraft. A slower pace oh than more contemporary titles, with CCs and attacks to build and spend energy a factor. For the most part, the combat felt good considering its age, but did suffer from the game's unfortunate habit of dropping the odd bit of lag to turn encounters into more of a dice roll than a challenge. While traveling the land, yeah, I don't know about raiding in Lord of the Rings online, I'll be honest. Money in the calf shop, or by signing up to VIP membership. A rented mount is provided to new players, give them six hours of experience, however, as well as being quite an effective tool, I'm sure, at pushing for that first cash up investment. Mounts, of course, are highly useful Cog, at getting around. Mordor raid. In the game, NPC it's also oh, I'll look at the, the Mordor raid. But not a lot has been done to innovate on the... Lord of the Ring, Lord of the Rings Online raid instance, the Rift and Balrog. Ultimate top five favorite Lord of the Rings online raids in 2022. Holy shit. So this still has like a full community and new raids and everything. Uh, oh, you weren't kidding. Her minions, and it's nice to get back into the progression side of things. Now the downside is here, it's almost changing weekly with tweaks and fixes. So it's not really done yet. So we'll have to kind of see how we go from there. Holy shit. Like the Wizard 101 Frostar. community? Yeah, I guess, but you know that shit still exists. Raid. I've never heard of Lord of the Rings online. Difficulty to raiding and also optional side boss encounters. This opened up more progression for more challenge-oriented kins, while also opening up access to a wider range of players. This raid also revisited a random component with one of the encounters in the 13 Kings in that the individual dwarves in the encounter would change every week. Now, there Anvil were so many TV commercials for this game. Chest were locks, rather than solely brute stage locks as well. And also on a fun note, Anvil has a nice little nod to the Empire Strikes Back. With one of the side bosses, you'll notice a yeti in a cave with a skeleton hanging in the ice with a sword in the snow nearby. Very boss. You could then go to the next three bosses in any order that you one will summon all of the powers and abilities from the three bosses you skipped, making this one super chaotic fight. So are raids soloable in this game? Kind of stuff. Looks like it. And uh, either way, I don't, I don't think I'll be doing any Lord of the Rings raiding. No, no, and the Moist Esports hoodies were restocked. They were supposed to be restocked like a whole week ago. But with holidays and everything, it did not unfortunately so hopefully soon out of your skill range <laughs> i guess maybe i don't know DC Universe Online Raids are dope. I don't believe you. That game was not very fun. I didn't like it at all. Jesus, I didn't like it at all. It's... Uh, here we Elfman. Supposed to be... Over. Him as Piccolo. Where's the raid? Oh. The anvil slam and the lava moves, moves everything else. They're really hard to pronounce names. I'm not going to try to butcher them. But it's, it's a really simple mechanic. Uh, then basically once the anvil comes out, there is a special yeah. stat somewhere. Um, you have to stun him. I'm not entirely sure what he does. You probably do something more in Elite. But he'll basically, you'll see a player hit by hit, hit, like a golden beam. Uh, I couldn't really find out what it did. Maybe some damage. But uh, see, I saw myself a pool spawn underneath me. I lost. I think I'll pass there as well. City of Heroes and Villains. City of Heroes and Villains never had real raids. I, it's my favorite game of all time, but 
it really didn't have raids. It had Task Force and Strike Force. But they were basically just very simple, very, very watered down versions of what World of Warcraft has, which is raids. But it was still so fun. I was playing one yesterday. The Strike Forces, Task Forces is what they are, Shiny. And they're not like a raid. It's a, it's a little different. It's basically just like a ton of enemies and new environments and a story, but it's there's no mechanics to the boss fights. At least not really. The only mechanical boss fight I can recall is when you do the Romulus Task Force, the Imperium one. The final boss has three phases. But there's no mechanics, it's just DPS checks on everything. So you just you just keep doing as much damage as you can and he dies just like everything else. There is no real mechanics to any of it, unfortunately. So like wow that's fucked up man wow has a ton of mechanics to the raid i've only played one right now like fully so i can only speak on that one but there are so many moving parts to the fight it's really cool i love mechanically intensive shit Thanks, you some Android. And the Reset Denzel. You beat Razageth? No, he dies on, she dies on Monday. We finally kill Razageth Monday. What class in well devastation evoker I'm gonna go finish mob psycho I enjoy it man have a good rest of your night <clears throat> you playing anything today yeah I've already played two great games I played warrior paint I play Dream That Never Ends. Yeah, we've been playing shit. Thanks for gift sub Riddler. What's good to play while I wait for Dark and Darker? I don't know, man. I don't know what kind of games you like. <laughs> that was only 10 minutes of gameplay total. Actually, interestingly enough, if you combine all of the gameplay from Warrior Paint and Dream That Never Ends, it's still sub-20 minutes worth of gameplay. For $105, for $125, because I think Warrior Paint was 5 bucks. And I 100%ed both games. Money well spent? I'd say so. I really would say so. We got a lot of value out of Dream that never wakes up. That's what it was.
Thanks, Reset Riddler. Does Warframe have anything like raids? They used to, and then it went to Eidolon hunting. And now they have something else as well that I'm blanking on right now off the top of my head. Jedi Survive is just hentai. I can tell by looking at it. Can't just play that. Archon Hunts. That's what it is. I think the tier one plate. Do you have a most anticipated game of 2023? Not off the top of my head. Mm -mm. There is a lot of good ones coming, though. I don't think there's any one that I'm really counting down the days for. Have you played New World? Yeah, I hated it. I did not like New World. What's Dark and Darker? It's a medieval Tarkov game. And it's great. It's such a such a shame that the playtest is over right now. What's this? Oh yeah! This does look pretty cool. Play this. Absolutely not. Plus, this is supposed to be a two player game. I don't think they have AI in it. There's a reason place to go. <sighs> Hope you're doing well, Feisty Goat. driving simulator very cool am I looking for god damn <sighs> am I looking forward to the KOTOR remake didn't that get canned I thought I remembered reading that they cancelled it yeah they, they did Oh, wait, no. It just got delayed. Well, no, wait. Is it delayed or is it canceled? No, it was canceled. Yeah. No, it, it actually was, yeah. Not just delayed. An indefinite delay.
Another case of the yawns. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little pee pee real quick. Be right back. Thanks for gifts up again, Nesh.
I'm back. Thanks, Reese of Alex and Spider. Yeah, P turned into a poop. Shit went hard. Thanks, Reese of Dental Floss. Have you played Krampus? Is home? No. Uh, I'm, I've gotten real tired of just walking simulator horror games. It's like the vast majority of the horror games now. It's fucking tedious. Thanks, Resub Soviet. When's the last time you did a speed run? Literally three days ago. Lego The Hobbit. What's your rank in Overwatch 2 now? Still gold. Thanks to give sub emo. And Supercell and Purple Duck. Have you seen Where's 981 records himself running from cops? Is that that douchebag on the motorcycle? No, this isn't the motorcycle guy. Yeah, I still hate this shit though. I think it's ass. I think it's a prime yog. Any chance of playing Infinite again? I don't know, man. I just have no desire to hop back into Halo Infinite. The, the lack of content was just so rough. Infinite actually good now. I mean, I don't doubt it. Forge has been pretty cool to watch, but... Fuck. It's just not enough to bring me back. I thought it might be, but it's just not... I'm gonna play Warframe again. Yeah, this is having grinding so many games that Warframes fall into the back burner.
How's the runes grind? You, how is the runescape grind? It's been fine. Slayer's just very slow. It's the last skill I have. So it's just been a really, really long one. There's ways to make it faster. Like there's right now a speed run for Max Cape between Hebox, Jong, and JCW. And he was doing some crazy Slayer strats. Speed. So he had alt accounts dancing. And so what you can do is you can burst anything that's like two tile and multi. As long as you have two accounts that follow dance each other, you can just burst everything down, which is crazy. But I don't have alts to do that. And I also don't know about streaming RuneScape and paying people to do it because I don't know if I want to stream RuneScape. At least not like the full Slayer grind, it's just so much. It's just the same fucking tasks over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I will absolutely stream raids once I start going back to Tombs of a Masket and all that, but probably not the Slayer grind. He's a bit saint in the Prime Canyon in Resub Manny. He's a Resub Weasel. Are you planning on watching this place rules? Oh yeah, Channel 5, Andrew, of course I will. I'm very excited for that. Have you seen the new Tom Brady picks with his son? Sorry, that was probably loud on stream. I did. I am absolutely not pulling them up on stream. I was mind blown by how many people wrote it off as like a normal, healthy relationship. Like, I don't even dislike Tom Brady anymore since he's done such great work for the Bucks. But why is he taking these photos with his kid? He's literally, in one of the photos, he's behind his kid kissing him on the back of the neck. And looking at the camera while they're in their bathing suits. And then in another one, it's like him on his lap or something. And then like another one of their legs next to each other like, while lounging all in their bathing suits. It's so weird. The kid's, I think he's 15, right? How old, how old is his son now? I think 15. <sighs> like it's just, it, Yeah, it's su super glad that he seems to be a supportive father, but maybe not to this degree. Yeah, the kissing on the lip stuff, of course, everyone already knows about. He's 13. I just looked it up. It's not even that bad? How is that not even that bad? That is extremely weird. To do a, a photo of you and your son... Topless in your bathing suits and you going up behind him and kissing the back of his neck. Eyes closed. It's, it's so odd. I don't know how you think that's not weird. He's a 13-year-old kid. This isn't like some 6-year-old or anything. It's, it's weird. He's like way past the age of that being like... Understandable. <laughs> You're the one sexualizing it? No, I hate that cope. I hate that cope. If if this was any other situation, if it wasn't a celebrity, if it wasn't Tom Brady, you would absolutely not be saying that shit. Because the pictures are legitimately disturbing. Like, it's just weird. Like, when you are 13 years old, I don't understand why your father is kissing you on the lips to begin with, but also then doing little photo shoots of him coming up behind you and... 
making out with your neck. In your bathing suits. With you sitting on his lap. The one with their feet is actually super weird. No one defends that. Yeah, no one really talks about their feet one. That is very weird. It's his son laying on his lap. So they're on a lounger. His, his son's on his lap in their bathing suits. And it's a picture of their feet tangled together. So like Tom Brady's feet are going out here and his son's feet are in between. And it's just a picture of their feet lounging. Or their, their legs lounging in their bathing suits. Why is that weird? I If I brought this up on stream, I would get banned. It's captioned, love this boy, heart. And then it's his son and him, poolside, bathing suit, just their thighs and legs wrapped up together. That is fucking weird. It's a 13-year-old, not some baby. Yeah, I saw that all over Twitter today. I couldn't believe how many people thought that that was like a normal thing. My parents were the most loving parents in the world. You would not catch me at 13 years old laying on my dad's lap in our bathing suits out by the pool taking a fucking photo of our legs wrapped up together like a happy couple. Thanks for the bits, Tichon. I yeah, I know, true Tichon. Obviously, he didn't love you as much as Tom Brady. Yeah, kisses on the lips stopped at a pretty young age. But you used to draw your father in a chair. He wasn't naked. <laughs> and I was like 19. It was for my figure drawing class. And I made the best goddamn portrait of all time. How's that even comparable? My dad was working on the computer. I told him, hey, turn around. I just need to need to draw this for, for class. And he reluctantly agreed to it. And that portrait banged. That was a fucking crazy portrait. You should hang it up. I did at one point, but I took it down. I don't remember. I think I was going to do something with it and I forgot what. And now I haven't been able to find it for a while. Dude, you're out of it. Me and my pops shower together, eat together, kiss each other, and even make out. Yeah, maybe I'm just old-fashioned. I think they're bits emo.
Thanks for the resub, Amanda. Did you see the new Stalker 2 trailer? Mm hmm I saw it on Twitter. I think it'll probably be good. I already know card jutsu. I pulled it up on stream before as well. It's fun. It's pretty cool. You excited for Megan? Mm hmm. I think this will be goofy fun. I don't think it's going to be good, but I think it'll be just one of those silly, stupid movies. <clears throat> Plus, it's a fuck you January release. This is the one that became the huge meme on Dad. Twitter because of this. Megan? Baby dolls kill. I don't want to get DMCA, but yeah. From this. So I think it'll be a fun, bad movie. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> January got some bangers. We have Gerard Butler's new stinker plane and Megan coming out in the same month. I'm hoping we can get a 2023 bad movie on the same level of Moonfall. Though that Moonfall is a once in a lifetime film. But anything that could even just remind me of Moonfall, I'll welcome. The sequel, uh, I wish. They set it up for an entire universe, an entire Moonfall universe. They left it on a cliffhanger, so they, well, not a cliffhanger, but they left it open-ended so they could have more and set up other moving parts out there, other threats. Like, there could be so many more Moonfall movies, and I just pray we get there. If I had billions of dollars, I'd help finance it in a heartbeat. It flopped though. I know. Thanks to the resub sunk. I know it fucking flopped. It was a tragedy. A fluke. Is Megan a comedy? Nah, it's a horror film about like a. This is like the perfect level of fun bad. I mean, of course, it could end up being boring bad. But like conceptually and the scenes they show. I am optimistic that that'll end up being an enjoyably shit stinker. Was that supposed to be like a GLaDOS-esque voice? I think so. Dumped in January? Yep, fuck you, it's January, baby. Like I said, we have Plane and we have Megan. Those are the two big ones that I'm excited for. This is yet another Gerard Butler inevitable flop. Our flight has gone down. This is an emergency. Survive together. Or die hey. again on this island. I already showed this one recently, but yeah, it's another uh, Gerard Butler one. Mm. 
Yeah, I was playing games earlier. And then got sidetracked after talking about MMOs and then ended up all the way back to shit movies again. It always comes back to shit movies. Yeah, Cocaine Bear is going to be cool too. I don't think it comes out in January though, does it? February. No, so that's not a fuck you, it's January movie. Yeah, of course I'll see Cocaine Bear. Things of the bits kicking. Yeah, I've seen Little Big Planet runs. They're not bad. No, oh, sorry he traumatized you, Sam Boney. <laughs> Another walking simulator horror game? No! A little bit of combat and horror game. SFX is familiar. Yeah, it's all just borrowed assets. Pretty cool. Sub Charlesard in Tier One Smoke. Have you ever played Escape Academy? Shit, I don't know. Hope you've been well, Charles Charlesard. Oh. Makes the resub brutal. We see it. Yeah, I see it. I'll watch it. Made Hunters just hentai it seems. Can't play that. Thanks you resub jacks. I love finding birds. Simple enough. Maybe tier one pee poo. We said Diamond. Socket of Gym Girls. Very cool. Creep is such a good movie. Creep 2 was meh. I don't remember which one was which, but yeah, I saw them both. All right. Man, fun trailer. Walking around in the snow with absolutely nothing. I'm sold. Things are resub night pelts.
Damn Dark Siren looking pretty good. Oh, he said that. Man, all of these look so goddamn boring bad. Let's do some shaded. Xenomorphs? I'm pretty sure they are. There's your seven pasta. soundtrack though a lonely cabin trip huh This is gonna be another trailer where it's just walking and nothing. Every single horror game ever on Steam new releases is the same trailer. Walking aimlessly, maybe picking something up, nothing happening. It's like they actively want people to be disinterested in the game. It makes no sense. Whoa! Alright, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm not going to keep searching for more fun, bad games. We found two. That's not bad. All right. Thanks for tuning in. New subs. Welcome aboard. Sub means a lot. Thanks for subbing. Enjoy the emotes. I will see you all tomorrow. Here, let me toss you to another AMOC runner. See who's still going. Some late night AMOC grinding. Oh, Zach's running. He's the current world record holder. I'll toss you to Zach. Alright, thanks again. See you tomorrow. Thanks for your sub, Chris.